The Queen's favourite niece, Lady Sarah Chateau, was seen stepping out for the second day of Royal Ascot today, June the 16th. The 58-year-old daughter of late Princess Margaret arrived with her husband, Daniel Chateau, to make the most of Ladies' Day at the racing event in Berkshire. Sarah looked elegant this afternoon as she was spotted on the Ascot lawn in a white dress with a pleated skirt, a matching cardigan and a white sun hat. She stood out in her crisp white look, pairing the immaculate dress with a necklace made of four strings of pearls and star-shaped diamond earrings. She donned cream-coloured heels which matched the wide brim hat. Practical Lady Sarah wore the same hat for both her appearances at the races. The fresh-faced mother of two did not sport makeup for her outing and showcased her natural glow. She arrived in a carriage with her husband, Daniel Chateau, and the Vice Count Brooksborough, and waved fans on her way to the event. Today she appeared in her element in the royal enclosure, holding a discreet white leather clutch. She was seen chatting to Zara Tyndall, the daughter of her cousin, the Princess Royal, who was also in attendance. Yesterday, Lady Sarah looked pretty in pink for her outing at the races. She was accompanied by her hunky son Samuel, 25, who is forging a career as a sculptor and was also seen chatting to her cousin, Prince Charles, who appeared to greet her with a kiss on the hand. On this occasion, she made a sweet tribute to her late mother through her jewellery. On Wednesday, June the 15th, Sarah wore her mother's diamond and pearl drop earrings plus a pearl necklace. She paired these with gorgeous gem set bracelets on each wrist. These accessories were used to match her pink ensemble. The pair of pearl and diamond earrings are especially meaningful to Sarah. Not only does Sarah inherit the jewels from her mother, but she also chose to wear them at her 1994 wedding to Daniel Chateau. The earrings came into the royal family's possession when Dame Margaret Greville, having no children of her own, left her entire jewellery collection to the Queen Mother after her death in 1942. Among the pieces in the collection was the Greville Emerald Coco Schnick Tiara that Princess Eugenie wore at her 2018 wedding. The Greville Tiara, a go-to for Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, was also a piece in the collection. Princess Margaret wore the diamond and pearl earrings on multiple occasions. Now they seem to be a favourite of Lady Sarah's. In fact, this was not the first time that Lady Sarah wore the earrings to Royal Ascot. She also wore the jewels to the annual event in 2014. In addition to wearing them at her own nuptials, Lady Sarah opted to wear the earrings at the 2018 wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Despite her closeness to the Queen, Lady Sarah is known for keeping a low profile. She's not regularly seen with the royal family, aside from a handful of key events. Born in 1964, Lady Sarah Chateau was the last royal baby to be born at the palace rather than a hospital, within weeks of cousins Prince Edward, Lady Helen Windsor and James Ogilvy. The Queen has been described as a surrogate mother to Sarah and her brother and is particularly close to Lady Sarah, who is understood to remind Her Majesty of her late sister. One royal insider previously revealed, the Queen adores Sarah and seeks out her company as often as possible. She is her absolute favourite younger royal. They are hugely at ease in each other's company. Much giggles can be heard when they are together. They share a sense of loyalty, fun, duty and the ridiculous. While growing up at Kensington Palace with her mother, who was a working member of the royal family, Sarah likely spent lots of time in the Queen's company. But Lady Sarah and the Queen are thought to have grown closer after the passing of Princess Margaret 20 years ago, with some reports suggesting the Queen has almost been like a surrogate mother to her niece. So much so, Sarah is thought to have been granted the rare honour of joining the Queen at her secluded Scottish hideaway, Craig Gowan Lodge in Aberdeenshire. Despite being the grandchildren of a former king and niece and nephew of the Queen, Sarah and David are known to keep a low profile, a quality the Queen is thought to admire greatly about them. An acquaintance also told the Daily Mail, Sarah is very unassuming, shy and almost embarrassed with no grandeur at all. Take royal events. She'll be on the balcony, but she never pushes herself to the middle or the front, like some. 
Sarah is often on the royal guest list for high-profile events, appearing only this week alongside her cousin Prince Charles in the royal box at Ascot. Earlier this month, Sarah was also seated next to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for the service of Thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey during the Jubilee weekend. The Queen's love for her niece was particularly evident at Prince Philip's funeral last year, which took place under strict Covid restrictions. Sarah and her brother were two of only 30 guests invited to the poignant event and they also attended the memorial service held for the late Duke at Westminster Abbey earlier this year.